right, Jamie, how often do you think about that win? The win. Not much. What? Um, I would march around talking about it every day. No, I'm just kidding. I, I think everything got so overwhelming afterwards that mm -hmm. I think I've tried to distance myself from it. Um, you know, I'm very proud of it. Um, it's all I ever wanted to do in poker. So it's, you know, I've accomplished everything I wanted to accomplish personally mm -hmm. um, for playing poker. Now I feel like my responsibility is to give back as much as possible. And so that's why I'm going to spend most of my time when I play poker working on charity events. Right. All right, you take down the poker's greatest title. You win the largest purse in sports history. Seems that before you can enjoy it, all that controversy started happening. Mm -hmm. What do you think the most important thing was that you learned from that lawsuit? God, I learned so much from that. One, I learned that you can uh, you can actually split the money at the cage right after and not pay their taxes. Really? I had no idea. They would have paid him directly, and it would have been his responsibility. Um, and all I ever wanted him to do was pay his taxes so that I didn't get stuck with his tax bill and I came out with nothing. Of course. Um, and then somehow some really honorable lawyer convinced him to, uh, to sue me so that he could get a piece of it. Wow. Um, who's actually a poker player. Really? Yeah. So do you make deals with people anymore yeah, real at all? Yeah, guy, huh? Do you make deals at all anymore? Is that just not um, at no, all? No, I do. I yeah. mean, you know, one thing if anybody who's ever known me is that if, if I shake your hand, if I, give, if I give you my word, my word is good. Right. Um, and it's kind of amazing that I was known in the media and in the public as a liar and not honorable where my whole life all I've ever done was be generous to people. Um, so my friends and my family, all they just laugh about it because it's just, uh, of anyone that any of us know, nobody's given more right. to people than I have. Um, and I still split it. I, you know, I gave my friend Eric half a million dollars and um, I took care of three of my friends that were not doing very well and my mom and... You know, and then there's a list of about 50 people that you know I've given a decent amount, you know, more than ten thousand dollars to. So right. um, I've I've taken really good care of people, not because I want. I always did that. Right. Um, I was very lucky to be a successful person before that. So it's not like I needed this money to survive. Um, what was your biggest fear during that the lawsuit? Did you fear that they were going to end up taking a lot of your money? I mean, no, I wasn't worried about the money. I um. It was just sad. It was it was just really sad. It, 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 I, I was upset because it was hurting my family, because you know it was my last the last six months of my dad's life, and he had to hear on television that I might be a liar, and you know especially when all I was trying to do was be kind to people. Um, so it bothered me that it bothered them. It bothered my mom and my dad. Um, it didn't bother me at all because I know how the media can be. Of course. Um, and they always try to grab for the negative. Twists. Yeah, and so it wouldn't have been an interesting story if I was just a generous guy. Of course. So, so they had to come up with this bullshit. Um, but it now seems it seems finally that that everybody knows the truth. Right. You know. Okay. Well, I, another story that came out following your win was the sponsorship with Bodog. Mm -hmm. I know you signed that that lucrative two-year deal. Is that is that mm -hmm. right? And then by January, it seemed like your relationship was over. Yeah, a lot of people what? thought that it had to do with a lawsuit, but it, you know, if, if people do their homework, they could figure out very quickly that it had nothing to do with that. Okay. I, lawsuit happened in August. Mm -hmm. We didn't stop working together until January. Right. If they had, a, and the lawsuit was already settled, so if they had an issue with the lawsuit, we would have stopped there. Um, they're uh, they're they're an interesting group of people. Oh yeah. Uh, that seem to uh, to disappear when they owe people money, you know. Um, so you know they got sued for forty million dollars and lost, and decided not to pay that. And they owed me a lot of money and decided not to pay that. And um, so you just decided that's someone you didn't. No, want I just to figured out I I don't I don't want to be in business with people that that don't want to be in business with me. Right. So um, you know I I did everything I could possibly do to help their brand. Um, mm -hmm. And. Um, I understand that you know that the person who owns it, Calvin Air, wants to be the front man of that, and so they were calling me the Bodog guy, and I don't think he liked that very much. Um, and I understand, you know, and it's okay. Um, you know, I'm fortunate that I don't need their money. That's right. And I also, you know, don't need to be promoting a brand that doesn't want to be in business with me. All right, Jamie, on um, July 17th, 2007, Jerry Yang wins the World Series of Poker main event. Ending your run as defending champ. Mm -hmm. 
What was the feeling? Was it relieved, disappointed, sad? Good for him. Good for him. You know? And, and I, I really like the way that he handled it all, where he immediately gave a portion of his money to charity, um, and he was smart enough not to, you know, put it at risk. Now let me talk about your father just for a second. You said in a past interview that it didn't matter to your father whether you'd won that main event or not. He was already proud of the person you'd become. Yeah, he, did, he really didn't care. Yeah. It How, really you're... didn't matter to him at all. It didn't matter. It meant everything to my mom. Yeah? Uh, but he's just, he's not like that. He's not, he, he just wasn't focused on accomplishments. You know what I mean? He, he, wanted, he just wanted me to be happy and um, just wanted to spend time with me. You know, it's it's it really it's hard to explain, but it really didn't matter either way. You know no, that's I mean? that's awesome. Yeah. Because there's not many people like that. Yeah, I mean, he, yeah, he was an extraordinary person, and, and and so is my mom. They're just complete opposites. Right. <laughs> um, and now my mom's playing every day, and uh, she just came in 15th at the ladies' event at the Borgata. Oh yeah. So I'm very proud of her. I think she's going to be a better player than I am. Right. Well, tell me about this quote you said. One time, it was regarding your public persona, you said, people only seem to notice what they want to notice. With all those controversies and all the media coverage, what's the biggest misconception you could say people have of you? Hmm. I don't know, there are so many. You know, <laughs> you know there was, I, I was misquoted several times. Uh, mm -hmm. And people thought that I was, after I won, that I was saying that I think I'm the best player in the world. And anyone who knows me knows <laughs> that not only do I not think I'm the best player in the world, I, I'm not even close. Mm -hmm. You know, and even if I thought that, I would never say it. You know? <laughs> who says it? I don't know. <laughs> well, there's a few people yeah, inside that say it. You know, it's, it's great to have that confidence, but, you know, I, I've had moments where I think I play at the level as good as any player has ever played in moments, you know? But if you don't have those moments, you can never accomplish anything. So um, I think I have great moments, but no, I think maybe the biggest misconception is that, uh, is that, you know, I'm a liar or cheater oh, right. or something like that, where, you know, it's anyone who knows me, it's so far from, I mean, any one of my friends, my family, any, I'm, I'm too honest. That's the problem is that when you're too honest, people seem to, take it and twist it and mm -hmm. um, I agree with that I'm kind of too honest too sometimes yeah and, and and in the media you can't be it's unfortunate but you just you can't you can't share your life because people will just pick it apart mm -hmm. um, what I also feel is that I'm lucky because I had been through it on other people's behalf